Yeah. All right, hello again, Internet, and welcome back to Instant Screaming, helping you navigate the seas of Netflix. Today up, we have uh, two sound-alike movies, The Hollow and The Hallow, both available on Netflix. First up is going to be The Hallow, not to be confused with The Hollow, obviously, sometimes also called The Woods. This is a movie that's very heavily influenced by Celtic folklore, so it's got Kelpies and all the fairies and the, the woodland fey folk, except it posits a scientific explanation for those creatures that heavily informs the look of the creature design, and the creature design is really, really good. It's very naturalistic and still very disturbing. The movie itself is about a very new family consisting of a, a wife and a husband and their, their very young child and their pet, uh, who move to a, a rural area, a rural community, uh, because he is a, uh, a botanist of some sort, and he winds up sort of running afoul of the, these creatures that live in the woods. Pretty much all of the creature effects in the movie are practical makeup just applied in uh, various stages, which all looks really, really good, and it's shot so well. All the setups are great. They do a really, really good job of making it seem like the forest is just filled with tons and tons of these strange creatures just past where the light can actually get so like just barely that kind of area of darkness that you can almost see into always seems like it's just teeming with with things that may or may not wish you harm probably the most standout sequence is uh, is a long scene right after the family car breaks down and they have all sorts of uh, shadowy figures in the background if i have to call out negatives on the movie the pacing kind of lost me for a little bit and dragged towards the midsection when it turned itself into an elongated chase sequence rather than the uh, the creature exploration and discovery but then it came back and it turned into a much more creepy and tense and dramatic movie, uh, which was just as interesting as the first part. The one thing I do want to call out is a bit of an amusing non sequitur, is that there's a, an ancient book that one of the characters from the town gives the family, and you can tell it's obviously just archaic. The whole thing is written in, in runic characters, in, except for these like carved wood print drawings of the creatures that's written and captioned in perfect English. I just thought that was fun. Aside from the weirdness in the book and the pacing kind of glitching a little bit in the middle, I can't think of anything wrong with the movie. It was a great watch. And now switching gears, I want to go to The Hollow, not to be confused with The Hallow, even though I just made that joke. The Hollow, I would have some reservations recommending. So to the plot of the movie, it is about these three sisters who, for financial reasons, have been forced to move and live with their aunt on an isolated, um, on an isolated island. And they just so happen to be moving on Halloween Eve, on the eve of this huge, huge storm that's going to, to batter the island. So, really bad timing on their part, but also, way back, you know, 100, 200 years in the past, the island apparently played host to a couple of witches that were, that were burned by the townsfolk and thus cursed the island that every, like, 100 years or something like that, some monster would come and eat everybody on the island. And uh, as bad luck would have it, our three sisters happen to be moving to the island at that exact same point. There's a minor side protagonist that I just feel was a huge wasted opportunity, who's supposed to be like this big uh, internet paranormal investigator who goes to haunted places, except they have no idea what to do with them, so he basically just shows up and says that. But other than that, he probably could have been completely left out or interchanged for literally any other character you could possibly think of. So he's kind of a wash, and unfortunately the main characters, I have a lot of problems with movies where the main characters are, any characters really are just needlessly confrontational, and unfortunately our main characters kind of fall into that. So you've got the one sister who is, her, her head's in the right place and her heart's in the right place, but she's unfortunately just going about everything in the completely wrong way. And this butts up against the other sister who's got a chip on her shoulder that must weigh like 3,000 pounds. So, every time she says something, she gets angry about it. And the third sister is a psychic who has foreseen everything that's about to happen in the movie, but then, after just screaming about it, spends almost the entire movie asleep or missing. So, now our protagonists are basically a wash. But the saving grace of the Hollow is the monster. The creature design on this is amazing. It looks so 
freaking cool. And the animators that worked on it, this is an entirely CG creature as opposed to the Halo where everything was practical makeup on all of these guys. Almost all practical makeup. This, this is an entirely CG monster. And they do an amazing job with it. They put a lot of time and a lot of care into really giving it weight. Unfortunately, I just didn't give a crap about the movie for the first half of it, so I could barely follow the story because I just didn't give a crap about the characters because they were being assholes to each other the whole time. So with that, you can probably skip the first half of the Hollow, and then just when the monster shows up, pull out the popcorn and, and watch how brilliantly executed that guy is. But as far as actually caring about the story of the characters, no good. So that's all I have for today's Instant Screaming. Hopefully one of these movies tickles your fancy and you can figure out what you want to watch tonight. In the meantime, if you've seen any of these movies, please leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of them. If you have any suggestions for any other movies you'd like to see on this show or Modern Horror, also leave that in the comment below. Uh, like or subscribe for more videos. And if you are feeling particularly awesome, you can support Instant Screaming and Modern Horror on our Patreon site here. Otherwise, cheers, Internet.